Raiders with Jack Frassian in that. Colby Baldwin and Mark Silos, two for the faceoff here. Penn State in white, Cornell in red, and faceoff is won by Cornell. Baldwin, Baldwin lost his stick in the process. And now we'll get this big red offense. Too much space for about 13 out there. That's going any time, and young kids out there, bouncers will go. It doesn't matter the level, so take notes on that Mercer goal right there. Baldwin with the faceoff win. He's really excelled this season. Chase Mullins came in as the expected. Out to a quick start, which is the complete opposite of what they had against Yale. Baldwin here against Angelo Petrakis. A clean win. Chance for make it, take it with Penn State. Here's Mark Sickler. Oh my goodness, the bench is fired up here at Panzer Stadium. Mark Sickler, in his first game of the season, has dealt with injury. Off the faceoff, gets time and room, and another bouncer goes for Penn State. It's make it, take it for the Nittany Lions right now, and it's 3-0. An absolute juice goal. There's the replay. Another bouncer that skips right by Nust. And here's the thing. Mark Sickler is a key component of this team, of that rope unit. He's been out all season. They get him back. Jack Posey's taken the warm-up the past two weeks. Penn State's starting to get its key pieces back, and they're going to start looking more and more scary every game. When Mark Sickler has that time, that much time and space, we saw him in the warm-up donning the short sleeve shirt, showing off his biceps. He's got a ton of muscle. He's a big fella. He Baldwin has won the last three face-offs here. This time he's going against Petrakis. Doing him on the wings. For Cornell, Eddie Rayhill is out there. Baldwin was a little early. Faceoff viola violation against him gives Cornell possession. Something they desperately needed coming that out of that timeout. If you're Connor Busick during that timeout, what are you looking to get going in this game? Once he's going, the rest of the unit will start working itself into this game, and they'll be okay. Petrakis, another win here. It's Luke Gilmartin. And he'll get it quickly to Mike again. Ran around, finally got free. Easy quick stick for him. And this Penn State offense is still firing right now on all cylinders. Baldwin and Petrakis again. Ball's loose there as both Petrakis and Baldwin found themselves on the ground. It's picked up by Gilmartin. Trying to get away from Sickler here. Tied up. Another flag is drawn. Penn State through the first quarter, 6-1, to one, Nittany Lions. Colby Baldwin's been doing a great job from the faceoff X, and Matt Trainer had a first quarter hat trick to pace the way for the blue and white. If you're just joining us, Matt Scalzo alongside Hayden Lewis, half of you could be with us. Baldwin went early on the faceoff, that's his second violation. Space for these Penn State shooters right now, and they're picking corners. They're going to do that. Against Yale in the first half, they had trouble hitting the target. Once they got things dialed in, they were scoring goals in abundance. Baldwin, clean win on the faceoff, gets it over to Trainer. Now Malone taps his head, it'll be a reset for Penn State. Trainer, one of the best goal scorers in the country. We talk about CJ Kirst. He came in with 16 while Matt Trainer was right, right with them. 16 this season. He's got a first quarter hat trick. For Penn State, under a minute to go. They can hold for the final shot. He can beat us pretty easily. Austin, he's standing out. That's back-to-back -back weeks, weeks with a left-handed goal for him, and we don't see that often. But you know, he's he's starting to find that second hand here. Race for the loose ball here, picked up by a long pole there of Singer. Nearly gave it away. Silos trying to get away from Trainer and Baldwin, and he's able to escape here. Cost X, the high wing at the top of the box. They're running it, and they're going to run it to perfection. They're going to run it to perfection 10 times, 12 times a game. Malone with his first goal of the day, third point on the afternoon. Baldwin with another faceoff win. Looking for the clear. Brassian finds Wallstrom, and Wallstrom. That's Matthew Tolley, who just came into this game. And he's a lefty, too, so Penn State just prepared for left-handed goaltenders this week, and they're picking the corners on the off stick nice and easy against these Cornell goaltenders. Petrakis with the win, gets it quickly to C.J. Kirst, who had to climb the ladder. He re 
opens his recruitment, decides to come to Penn State, has played lacrosse with guys like Matt Trainer since they were nine years old, so all kinds of chemistry with guys on this team. Comes in freshman year, Jack Trainer, TJ Malone are hurt. What happens, Peden's thrusted in that lineup, has a great year. Last year, Trainer and Malone back. Those two take over at attack, a couple other pieces, Kevin Winkoff, one of those, took over. So Will Peden's now not playing much, and when he does play, it's maybe a little bit man upper, but it's garbage time, Penn State's up. You know, nine goals in a game. Comes out here this year, great shot from Person now. He's gonna be firing. He, he's, he's got one, he's gonna start shooting from anywhere and everywhere. He wants to score more, and he needs to score more to will this team back in the game. You know, he's, he's the big guy. Long's gonna feed him, he's gonna step down, he's gonna let him go. Curse, the turnover, he makes it two in a row. Baldwin had the faceoff win, tried to reset it with his defense. Kirst picks it off like a safety, flying high up to the ball. Grassi and out of his net. Kirst says, I'll take that. Right on cue. He's gonna shoot from anywhere. And you know, when there's no goalie in the net, it's a lot easier. And saw it right there from Kirst, but it's a bad turnover from Baldwin. Kirst climbs the ladder, steps in from the restraining box line right there. So that's a deep shot buries it into the empty net, but CJ Curse now has all kinds of confidence in his shot and he's gonna start letting it fly again. The track is trying to scoop up the ground ball. John King forcing the turnover, Baldwin's on it. And timeout taken by Jeff Tambroni smartly. 2.01 left to go in the second quarter. It's whoever is closest to the ball, where it went out, it was Keller, we saw it from our angle up here, and he gets rewarded for his hustle there. Silos called for a face-off violation, might have been a hold. Penn State with possession. They will hold for the final shot. Shot clock is not a matter here. It's up at 68 seconds, and there's 36 on the clock. Green light, green light right there, meant go, and he scored. Penn State, a huge goal right there. Baldwin, face-off win. Going right down University Drive, a skip over to Malone. Timeout taken by Tambroni before the pass from Trainer. This is exactly what you were hoping. We are underway in the second half. The stadium has resulted in a red hot Penn State offense. Matt Trainer with four goals. We are underway in the second half. Baldwin will win possession for Penn State, was pushed from behind by Mark Silos. Grant Haas, or Haas will run quickly across midfield line for Penn State. Still buzzing after the break. Baldwin pokes the ball free, so tries to go behind the back to Kyle Aldridge, has it taken away by Petrakis, but Aldridge pokes the ball free. Who else but Matt Trainer to pick it up? matter whether you play boys lacrosse or girls lacrosse. Bouncers go, they go. Take notes, kids. Silos will win this draw. Cornell will finally have possession. That right there, great shot from Bird. That may get him going. He loves he loves to score goals, he wants to score goals. He's kind of like CJ Kirsten, will probably replace him in this offense in the future. Baldwin. Over to Trainer, skips off his stick, his eyes. Right there, that's going to be connected every single time. And an easy goal for Walsh from this Penn State offense is doing everything right. They can't be stopped right now. Baldwin wins it. This time, the ball over the shoulder works to Grant Hawes. Peden, 22nd goal of the season for number 22, 15 to 5. Face-off violation this time against Petrakis. Mark Stickler. Great feed by Michael Long. Firth, foot outside of the crease there. Free goal for him, and that's huge for Cornell because that kind of gives them some energy, gives them a little bit of their mojo back, but they're still fighting. They're down nine goals. They've got to win some face-offs and play make it, take it ball here. Silos. Bodies Baldwin out of the way. A chance for make it, take it. Baldwin nearly jarring that ball free. And random BTBs that were 30 miles wide. Well, now he's throwing them on cage and he's scoring more goals and the lead's back to 10 for Penn State here. Silas springs it free. Coming right 
right down the lane. And we'll reset as John King on him. Less than three quarters of action. Penn State's probably going to eclipse 20 goals on the afternoon against the number eight team in the nation. The only other team that put that number of goals up against Cornell it was Denver, who's number one in the country right now. So Penn State's going to start you know, to be placed in that conversation with some of those top dogs in the nation right now, like Hopkins, like Denver. You know, if you look at Maryland, they're a great team once again. Duke's a great team. Sixth point of the game for him, and I mean, this offense is unreal. It's just unreal. There's nothing more to say. They are playing amazing lacrosse this afternoon. Bald with a face-off win. It was tied up there with Silos. His stick goes flying. But the issue here for Cornell, now they have to keep this clear that they've had a tough time doing. Blake able to wrap around for Malone and escape a check. From That's big for Cornell because C.J. Kurse is starting to activate the feeding game. We saw him on that man up. Nice little skip pass through to Long. He couldn't bury, but C.J. Kurse is dialed in not only as a shooter right now, but also as a feeder, which is huge for this offense because Michael Long's not having the best game as the ex-attackman today. Mark Sicker would be on the field. That's his sixth point. If you're just joining us, Matt Scalzo alongside Hayden Lewis. Happy you could be with us. Face-off violation against Colby Baldwin to begin the fourth quarter. Cornell chasing 11. Silos is going to have a jump shot. The face-off guy here for Cornell. Too easy, and that's a non-releasable penalty, by the way. So Penn State still has a minute 51 on this man up to score some more goals. So that's one in nine seconds. How many more can they score in that time? That's the question right there. That's Mercer's second of the game. Got Penn State going in that first quarter. Penn State has been shooting exceptionally well here. And Baldwin, the right move there to just poke it free, but O'Connor couldn't keep his stick with it. And possession goes to Penn State. Pretty sure, pretty sure Michael Long or one of the other attackmen there crossed over the box per minute with that map, and it's going to be hard to do. You have to play make it, take it, fall, but Baldwin's been solid at the faceoff straight. Silos gets the win. Tenth of the season for Michael Long. He missed a chunk of last year. And as I said, it, it did include that Penn State game. They make it, take it. Chase Mullins looks like he's into the game at the faceoff X for the first time this afternoon. A violation against Mullins. Former number one faceoff guy in the country. And that is the third faceoff violation in the half against Penn State. So it'll be a 30 second penalty. 30-second man-up opportunity for Cornell. And here's where Cornell can get themselves back into this. This is another transition game for him, so he's out of his element, gets dropped by Jordan, and a little bouncer skips right past Tolley. Penn State gets their 20th of the game. New face-off guy, it's Richie Houston. Just an absolute pile of humanity at the midfield line. Houston spends his time uh, DJing on campus sometimes. You know, that's usually in the fall and winter.